Hello everyone, DT here and welcome to our channel. Today, we're comparing two of the most popular portable power stations from all powers, the R1500 and the R2500. We'll explore what each model has to offer and how they perform. First, let's take a look at the R1500. With a capacity of 1152 watt-hours and an output of 1800 watts, this power station uses highly efficient lithium iron phosphate batteries to ensure longevity and safety. With multiple output ports including AC outlets, USB-A, USB-C, and DC ports, the R1500 is suitable for powering a variety of devices. Its compact and portable design makes it perfect for outdoor activities and emergency backup power. And it offers a wireless charging feature for conveniently powering devices that support wireless charging. Now let's take a closer look at the R2500. With its larger 2016 watt-hours capacity and 2500 watts output, this power station also incorporates lithium iron phosphate batteries, enhancing both its range and output capabilities. The R2500 is also equipped with a plethora of output ports, including AC outlets, USB-A, USB-C, and DC ports. In contrast, the R2500 does not have wireless charging. So, how do the R1500 and R2500 perform in practice? Let's find out through a series of comprehensive tests. First, let's test the charging speed of both power stations. Connected them for charging at the same time, and recorded the time it took to get a full charge. The R2500, with its higher capacity, naturally took longer to charge, but it supports higher power inputs, resulting in remarkably efficient charging. Let's delve into the actual data. Next, let's connect multiple devices to test the output stability of both power stations. We will connect a laptop, a car refrigerator, a TV, a tablet, and a cell phone at the same time to see how the power stations perform. As you can see, both the R1500 and R2500 can power these devices stably, but the R2500's high power output makes it better at handling high power devices. Next, let's test the endurance time of two power stations. Connect the R1500 and R2500 to a running vacuum cleaner and record how long they can be continuously powered on a full charge. See? Test results indicate that the R1500 lasts for about 44 minutes, while the R2500 lasts for almost 1 hour and 24 minutes. This proves the R2500's superiority in prolonged use. At last, let's take both power stations outdoors to simulate real-world application scenarios. Whether you're camping, picnicking, or working outdoors, these two power stations can offer you ample power support. To summarize, the R1500 is designed for individuals seeking a lightweight, easily portable power supply, whereas the R2500 is better suited for those requiring greater capacity and higher output. Each power station has its own advantages, and the choice between them depends on your specific needs. Thanks for watching today's comparison video. I hope it helps you make a more informed decision. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.